Some animals are weird. This one became a meme, whereas this one makes you shrink back in pain. This first one, though, looks like it came from an MMORPG. Frail Necked Lizard This odd looking animal finds its home in Australia and New Guinea. Honestly, are we really that surprised? Anyway, the lizard gets its name from the large frills around its neck, which are usually folded against its body. The frill necked lizard is a tree dweller. The vast majority of its time is spent in the trees. Insects and small animals like flies make up the majority of its diet. It's not uncommon for frill necked lizards or frillies to consume plants, but it is rarer. Colors differ depending on the lizard's environment, so there's no universal shade. Lizards that live in dry, clay-filled environments have a wider range of oranges, reds, and browns, whereas lizards that live in wetter, more tropical environments have darker browns, grays, and some greens. Because their colors are tailored to their environment, they act as camouflage. Well, they almost sound like chameleons in that sense. Lastly, long cartilage spines support the neck frill, giving it its distinctive look. Blobfish It's the internet's favorite fish, a deep-sea charmer with a face only a Mother Earth could adore. Maybe make her scream, too. Despite the unknowns, the blobfish rose to prominence after another specimen was photographed in 2003. Its gelatinous appearance made it a gift to the early internet culture. It was later named the ugliest animal in the world in a poll set up by the Ugly Animal Preservation Society, a conservation group that argues that it's not just the cute critters that deserve our protection. It was even given the moniker, Mr. Blobby. As it turns out, the blobfish's appearance results from its environment. Blobfish live in deep water near the ocean floor off southeastern Australia and Tasmania coast. Water pressure is crushing at depths of 2,000 feet or more, more than 60 times that of surface water. You'd probably be squished into a blob if you live that deep. At least they have a way of life that's blob friendly. Aye Aye One of the most repulsive animals on the planet is the Aye Aye. This small monkey is also one of the most intriguing. Only found in Madagascar, this 14-inch to 17-inch long species sports a long tail. It has whitish guard hairs and long wiry hairs ranging in color from gray to black. However, its teeth, like those of a rodent, are constantly growing. Like bats and squirrels, the eye eye uses echolocation to navigate and can scale trees head first. It has spherical orange or tan eyes that are large and glaring. It also has a third finger to dig holes with its teeth and grab grubs from those holes. People in the area dislike this creature because they believe it's a demon and will kill if given the chance. Despite being difficult to care for, eye eyes can be found in zoos worldwide, including Cincinnati, Philadelphia, and the Bristol Zoo in the UK. Platypus The platypus, an Australian animal, stands out from the crowd. And like echidnas, they belong to an order of mammals called monotremes. Because of its unusual appearance, naturalists and scientists quickly concluded that it was a hoax. Well, turns out it wasn't. This creature thrives in a semi-aquatic environment. The animal's sleek body and broad, flat tail are covered in dense, waterproof fur, making it ideal for colder climates. The platypus's hind feet function as rudders, allowing it to steer through the water. The grooves behind the animal's distinctive bill house the ear holes and the eyes that close as it dives. The platypus's tail stores fat reserves and are also used for digging and movement. Finally, these guys have poisonous horny spurs on their ankles that connect to a gland in their upper legs, making them one of the world's few poisonous animals. Still, don't be scared. Usually they stay in their burrow when not hunting. Commodore Dog Saw this dog at night, I'd be running because I wouldn't even be able to tell it was a dog. These boys sport Rastafarian dreadlocks thanks to their white coats and tassels. Though they're very fluffy, don't be fooled. They do have a very commanding presence. Though, maybe part of it is because of their unusual looks. With a medium-sized head and hair covering most of its face, the dog's a little intimidating. It doesn't help that it's muscular and its tail is perfectly straight, unlike the fur you would find all along its body. These guys are good at shepherding sheep, with their ability to blend in with them. As a result of them being bred as herd protectors, the Commodore is naturally suspicious of strangers, and it's also protective of its household. Today, it's known as a good friend and guard dog for the family that keeps it and gives it love and attention. Echidnas The echidna is a unique mammal, so unique that it continues to perplex researchers and scientists. Since prehistoric times, the echidna has remained unchanged. It found ways to survive while other species became extinct. But what distinguishes echidnas from other mammals, you may ask? Well, echidna females lay eggs. Monotremes are mammals that lay eggs, much like the platypus. Echidnas can be found all over Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea, from highlands to deserts to forests. They're solitary creatures who keep to themselves. 
Depending on the season and food sources, echidnas may be active during the day, evening, or even both. An echidna has a small face with small eyes and a long nose. The echidna's eyes do not allow it to see well, but its keen sense of hearing and smell provide it with the info it requires to survive. Then it uses its short legs to dig to protect itself. Hey, looks like that ostrich has a buddy. Axolotl. The species was first discovered in several lakes, including a lake beneath Mexico City. In contrast to most other amphibian species, axolotls do not undergo metamorphosis to reach adulthood. Adults stay underwater in guild rather than trying to escape. The axolotl can only be found in Mexico's freshwater lake valleys such as Chalco. Lake Chalco was drained as part of flood control efforts, and only the canals of one other lake remain as reminders of their former selves. Recent surveys in that lake revealed about 100 axolotls per square kilometer. A four-month search in 2013 yielded no wild survivors, and in less than a month, two wild ones were discovered in a network of canals connecting the lake to the city. The rapid growth of Mexico City has put significant strain on the natural environment, and the axolotl is now listed as threatened on the IUCN's annual red list of endangered species. Hairy Frog Amphibian horror isn't a film genre, but based on this, it should be. Harvard biologists have described a strange hairy frog with cat-like extendable claws. When threatened, the hairy frog actually breaks its bones to produce those claws. These claws actually puncture through the frog's toe pads. According to David Blackburn and colleagues at Harvard University Museum of Comparative Zoology, the gruesome behavior is a defense mechanism. According to the researchers, some salamanders force their ribs through their skin to produce protective barbs on demand. But nothing quite like this mechanism has been observed before. According to Blackburn, some frogs have bony spines projected from their wrist, but those species have the bone grow through the skin instead of piercing it through when it needs defense. When the animal is attacked, Blackburn and his colleagues believe it contracts its muscles, which pulls the claws downward. The sharp point then detaches from the bony tip and cuts through the toe pad. Ugh, just talking about it hurts. Hang Golan What ass scales from head to tail can curl into a ball? Hang Golans. These solitary, primarily nocturnal animals are easily identified by their full-scale armor. When a pangolin is started, it will cover its head with its front legs, exposing its scales to any potential predator. It will then roll up completely if touched or grabbed, and the sharp scales on the tail can be used to lash out. Pangolins are the world's most trafficked mammal, with demand primarily in Asia and growing in Africa for their meat and scales. Pangolin products are also in demand in the U.S. for boots, bags, and belts. In June 2020, China raised protection for the native Chinese pangolin to the highest level, closing a critical loophole for the species in country consumption. Furthermore, the government will no longer permit using pangolin scales in traditional medicine, a significant victory given that about 195,000 pangolins were trafficked in 2019. Now it's time for the day's best pick. No, it doesn't look like it, but this creature's actually a fluffy boy gone bald. The Sun Bear. The sun bear's name comes from the bib-shaped golden or white patch on their chest, which legend says represents the rising sun. Their sleek black coat is short to avoid overheating in tropical weather, but thick and coarse to protect from twigs, branches, and rain. Sun bears are approximately half the size of an American black bear. Males are about 5 feet long and weigh up to 150 pounds. That's a stature that suits their arboreal lifestyle. They've even built sleeping platforms out of branches and leaves high above the ground. Sadly, conservation data collection is difficult due to their remote habitat and shy personality, but scientists fear the worst. Their habitats are rapidly disappearing due to deforestation. Poachers hunt them mercilessly for body parts and fur, and some farmers kill them on the spot because they frequently eat crops. Adult females are often slaughtered so their cubs can be taken and raised as pets. Okapi the okapi, also known as the forest giraffe, Congolese giraffe, or zebra giraffe, is an endangered species of artiodactyl mammal native to the northeastern region of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Okapis have stripe markings similar to zebras, but are more closely related to giraffes. They are the giraffidae family's only living relatives. While most okapis are active during the day, some may be active at night. They spend most of their time alone, only gathering to reproduce. Okapis consume only plants that are native to the environment. Sexual activity occurs in both males and females, regardless of the season. In captivity, females get desire every 15 days. Typically, a single calf is born at the end of a 440 to 450 day gestation period. Nurseries for juveniles are kept secret and are only used when necessary. 
For infants who have been receiving solid food since they were three months old, weaning occurs at six months. Sponge. No wonder SpongeBob could do so much. He's not a plant, he's an animal. The sponge is a marine invertebrate that looks like a plant but is actually a sea creature. In fact, the sponge appears so alien that it can't be classified as a plant at all. This animal has no digestive system, instead consisting of a network of channels and holes interspersed with cells of various specializations. This creature lacks a nervous system and a brain. It lacks the human-like system for moving blood throughout the body as it possesses no internal organs at all. This organism can only survive because ocean currents deliver food and oxygen while also removing waste. Sponges are thought to have split from their common ancestor with the rest of animal kind around 750 million years ago. Spongiology, or the study of sponges, is a newer field of study. Without a doubt, sponges are one of the weirdest animals on the planet. See you all next time!